Song of Solomon chapters 1 to 8 Chapter 1 The bride longs for affection 1 The song of songs which is Solomon's 2 Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for your love is better than wine 3 Because of the fragrance of your good ointments your name is as ointment poured forth therefore do the virgins love you 4 Draw me we will run after you the king has brought me into his chambers we will be glad and rejoice in you we will remember your love more than wine, the upright love you. 5. I am dark, but lovely, O your daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. 6. Look not upon me, because I am dark, because the sun has darkened me, my mother's children were angry with me, they made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. 7. Tell me, O you whom my soul loves, where you feed, where you make your flock to rest at noon, for why should I be as one that turns aside by the flocks of your companions? 8. If you know not, O your fairest among women, go your way forth in the footsteps of the flock, and feed your kids beside the shepherd's tents. Expression of Mutual Love 9. I have compared you, O my love, to a mare of Pharaoh's chariots. 10. Your cheeks are lovely with rows of jewels, your neck with chains of gold. 11. We will make you ornaments of gold with studs of silver. 12. While the king sits at his table, my perfume sends forth its fragrance. 13. A bundle of myrrh is my beloved unto me, he shall lie all night between my breasts. 14. My beloved is unto me as a cluster of henna blossoms in the vineyards of Enjdi. 15. Behold, you are fair, my love, behold, you are fair, you have dove's eyes. 16. Behold, you are handsome, my beloved, yea, pleasant, also our bed is green. 17. The beams of our house are cedar, and our rafters of fur. Chapter 2. The Bride's Admiration 1. I am the rose of Sharon, and the lily of the valleys. 2. Is the lily among thorns, so is my love among the daughters. 3. Is the apple tree among the trees of the wood, so is my beloved among the sons. I sat down under his shadow with great delight, and his fruit was sweet to my taste. For he brought me to the banqueting house, and his banner over me was love. 5. Sustain me with cakes of raisins, refresh me with apples, for I am sick with love. 6. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand does embrace me. 7. I charge you, O your daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or by the hinds of the field, that you stir not up, nor awake love, till it please us. The king visits the bride's home. 8. The voice of my beloved. Behold, he comes leaping upon the mountains, skipping upon the hills. 9. My beloved is like a gazelle or a young stag. Behold, he stands behind our wall, he looks forth through the windows, showing himself through the lattice. 10. My beloved spoke, and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. 11. For, lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, 12. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land, 13. The fig tree puts forth its green figs, and the vines with the tender grapes give a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. 14. O my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for sweet is your voice, and your countenance is lovely. 15. Catch us the foxes, the little foxes, that spoil the vines, for our vines have tender grapes. 16. My beloved is mine, and I am his, he feeds his flock among the lilies. 17. Until the day breaks, and the shadows flee away, turn, my beloved, and be like a gazelle or a young stag upon the mountains of Beit Har. Chapter 3 the bride dreams of a separation. One by night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loves, I sought him, but I found him not. Two I will rise now, and go about the city in the streets, and in the squares I will seek him whom my soul loves, I sought him, but I found him not. Three the watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, saw you him whom my soul loves. Four it was but a little after I passed by them, when I found him whom my soul loves, I held him, and would not let him go, until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. 5. I charge you, O your daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or by the hinds of the field, that you stir not up, nor awake my love, till it please us. Wedding Processional
Six who is this that comes out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all the fragrant powders of the merchant. Seven behold the couch, which is Solomon's, three score valiant men are about it, of the valiant of Israel. Eight they all hold swords, being expert in war. Every man has his sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. 9. King Solomon made himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. 10. He made its posts of silver, its base of gold, the covering of its seat of purple, its interior being paved with love by the daughters of Jerusalem. 11. Go forth, O your daughters of Zion, and behold King Solomon with the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding, and on the day of the gladness of his heart. Chapter 4. Praise for the Beauty of the Bride 1. Behold, you are fair, my love, behold, you are fair, you have dove's eyes behind your veil, your hair is like a flock of goats, going down from Mount Gilead. 2. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep that are even shorn, which came up from the washing, every one of which bears twins, and none is barren among them. 3. Your lips are like a thread of scarlet, and your mouth is lovely, your temples are like a piece of pomegranate behind your veil. 4. Your neck is like the tower of David built for an armory, on which there hang a thousand shields, all shields of mighty men. 5. Your two breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle, which feed among the lilies. 6. Until the day breaks, and the shadows flee away, I will go up to the mountain of myrrh, unto the hill of frankincense. 7. You are all fair, my love, there is no spot in you. 8. Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse, with me from Lebanon. Look from the top of Amana, from the top of Shanir and Hermon, from the lion's dens, from the mountains of the leopards. 9. You have ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse, you have ravished my heart with one look of your eyes, with one jewel of your necklace. 10. How fair is your love, my sister, my spouse! How much better is your love than wine, and the fragrance of your perfume than all spices! 11. Your lips, O oh my spouse, drop like the honeycomb, honey and milk are under your tongue, and the fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. 12. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. 13. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates, with pleasant fruits, henna, with spikenard, 14. Spikenard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with all trees of frankincense, myrrh and aloes, with all the chief spices, 15. A fountain of gardens, a well of living waters, and streams from Lebanon. The marriage is consummated. 16. Awake, O north wind, and come, your south, blow upon my garden, that its spices may flow out. Let my beloved come into his garden, and eat its pleasant fruits. Chapter 5. The Torment of Separation 1. I have come into my garden, my sister, my spouse, I have gathered my myrrh with my spice, I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey, I have drunk my wine with my milk, eat, O oh friends, drink, yet yeah, drink abundantly, O oh beloved. The bride dreams of a second separation. Two I sleep, but my heart wakes, it is the voice of my beloved that knocks, saying, Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my perfect one, for my head is filled with dew, and my locks with the drops of the night. 3. I have put off my robe, how shall I put it on? I have washed my feet, how could I soil them? 4. My beloved put in his hand by the latch of the door, and my heart was thrilled for him. 5. I rose up to open to my beloved, and my hands dripped with myrrh, and my fingers with sweet-smelling myrrh upon the handles of the lock. 6. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself, and was gone, my soul failed when he spoke. I sought him, but I could not find him, I called him, but he gave me no answer. 7. The watchmen that went about the city found me, they struck me, they wounded me, the keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. Praise for the beauty of the groom. 8. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, that you tell him that I am sick with love. 9. What is your beloved more than another beloved, O your fairest among women? What is your beloved more than another beloved, that your soul charge us? 10. My beloved is white and ruddy, the chiefest among ten thousand. 11. His head is as the most fine gold, his locks are wavy, and black as a raven. 12. His eyes are like doves by the rivers of waters, washed with milk, and fitly set. 
13 his cheeks are like a bed of spices like sweet flowers his lips like lilies dripping sweet smelling myrrh 14 his arms are as rounded gold set with beryl his body is as carved ivory overlaid with sapphires 15 his legs are pillars of marble set upon bases of fine gold his countenance is as lebanon excellent as the cedars 16 his mouth is most sweet yet he is altogether lovely This is my beloved and this is my friend O daughters of Jerusalem Chapter 6 Mutual delight in each other One where has your beloved gone O your fairest among women Where has your beloved turned aside that we may seek him with you To my beloved has gone down into his garden to the beds of spices to feed his flock in the gardens and to gather lilies Three I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine he feeds his flock among the lilies praise for the beauty of the bride for you are beautiful o oh my love as tirza lovely as jerusalem awesome as an army with banners five turn away your eyes from me for they have overcome me your hair is as a flock of goats going down from the lead six your teeth are as a flock of sheep which go up from the washing every one bears twins and there is not one barren among them Seven as a piece of a pomegranate are your temples behind your veil. Eight there are three score queens and four score concubines and virgins without number. Nine my dove, my perfect one, is the only one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the favorite one of her that bore her. The daughters saw her and blessed her. Yea, the queens and the concubines and they praised her. Then who is she that looks forth as the morning? fair as the moon clear as the sun and awesome as an army with banners 11 i went down into the garden of nuts to see the blossoms of the valley and to see whether the vine had budded and the pomegranates were in bloom 12 before i was aware my desire had made me as the chariots of my noble people 13 return return o shulamite return return that we may look upon you why will you look upon the shulamite as upon a dance before two armies chapter 7 admiration by the groom one how beautiful are your feet in sandals o princess daughter the curves of your thighs are like jewels the work of the hands of a skillful craftsman to your navel as like a round goblet which lacks not blended drink your belly is like a heap of wheat set about with lilies three your two breasts are like two fawns that are twins of a gazelle Fold your neck is as a tower of ivory your eyes like the pools of Heshbon by the gate of Bathra beam your nose is as the tower of Lebanon which looks toward Damascus five your head crowns you like camel and the hair of your head is like purple the king is held captive by your tresses six how fair and how pleasant are you o love for your delights seven thus your stature is like to a palm tree and your breasts to its clusters eight i said I will go up to the palm tree I will take hold of its branches may also your breasts be as clusters of the vine and the fragrance of your breath like apples nine and the roof of your mouth like the best wine for my beloved that goes down sweetly flowing gently over lips and teeth then i am my beloved's and his desire is toward me the bride desires to visit her home 11 come my beloved let us go forth into the field let us lodge in the villages 12 let us get up early to the vineyards let us see if the vine has budded whether the grape blossoms have opened and the pomegranates are in bloom they will i give you my loves 13 the mandrakes give a fragrance and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits new and old which i have laid up for you o my beloved chapter 8 the lovers speak one o that you were as my brother that nursed at the breasts of my mother If I should find you outside I would kiss you yet I would not be despised Do I would lead you and bring you into my mother's house who had instructed me I would cause you to drink of spiced wine of the juice of my pomegranate Three his left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me Four I charge you O daughters of Jerusalem that you stir not up nor awake my love until it pleases Journey and homecoming Five who is this that comes up from the wilderness leaning upon her beloved I awakened you under the apple tree that your mother brought you forth there she brought you forth that bore you Six set me as a seal upon your heart as a seal upon your arm
For love is as strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave, its flames are flames of fire, a most vehement flame. 7. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the wealth of his house for love, it would utterly be rejected. 8. We have a little sister, and she has no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? 9. If she is a wall, we will build upon her towers of silver, and if she is a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. 10. I am a wall, and my breasts like towers. Then was I in his eyes as one that found favor. 11. Solomon had a vineyard at Balhaman. He let out the vineyard unto keepers. Everyone for its fruit was to bring a thousand pieces of silver. 12. My vineyard, which is mine, is before me. You, O Solomon, must have a thousand, and those that tend its fruit two hundred. 13. You that dwell in the gardens, the companions listen for your voice. Let me hear it. 14. Make haste, my beloved, and be like a gazelle or a young stag upon the mountains of spices.